right, we're at the Halliburton Forest Book Center race pickup, last race of the year, 2022. What is this race? Eight or nine in a year? Hmm. Anyway, this is the forest race, 50 Ks. Flags are very close together. If you don't see flags, you are not on the course. Um, they're 20 to 30 paces, which is less than 20 to 30 yards. There's probably about 3,000 flags out there all together for the event. So, you're gonna start off from base. As Deegan said, you're gonna be fall at the very first stretch. There's flags on both sides simply because you come in and leave at that stretch. Go a little bit further, and the flags will just be on your left. You're gonna get up about maybe a mile, maybe a bit less, somewhere in that range. water station. Uh, there will be people there, there will be signs there telling you that 50k runners turn left. 15 seconds to go. past the 6k water station and uh, going good. Pretty steep here. No point getting an ankle sprain early in the game. Just be careful. Quite so far. Legs are coming in nicely. All the weird things. Old guys. Got a time. Old guys like me. Got a time to warm up. Get the blood flowing. That's the choice of being over 50. Just have to give your body time. Okay, just got through the 13k feed station. Had some potato chips, watermelon. I'm pretty full of my drinks. I've been consuming about 1.2 liters an hour, which is right on. Was half water, half electrolyte. Switching to electrolyte with calories for the next part of the race. So far, so good. Do not turn. Another one of these steep climbs. 18k. Two hours, 11 minutes. Yeah. Feeling okay. Not too bad. It's a bit hot. things for some reason.
heck of a long, heck of a steep climb. Whew. It really is long, steep. Good work, man. You're at the mountain. And steep climb, man. Yeah, you got Care, Careful. Yeah. Okay. Cleared most of the mountain. Looks like we're going to some slightly easier technical running now, which is a welcome, welcome break from roots and rocks. It's still hilly though. Just walk the hills. Got to be patient with these long events, in my opinion. Now, for some of you, a 50k is like your morning jog. Or will you 100 miles out there, but not for me. I keep on forgetting to film the aid stations. Anyway, I stopped. We filled my water containers and a banana, about a half a banana equivalent, uh, but a half an orange and a boiled potato. Beautiful scenery. And uh, heading into the second half of this event. I thought somebody was calling me. I took a wrong turn off uh, a little while ago and somebody thankfully Pulled out my name or called me out, turned me around. Same wrong turn up I made last year, same place. And that's after really trying to focus not to do that turn. Don't know what it is about that turn. Anyway, I only lost about 200 meters. Oh, so beautiful here, alone in the forest. All myself. I'm getting tired, definitely feeling that Iron Man residue in my legs, but uh, it's beautiful here. <laughs> and a steep, steep climb. Oops. It's amazing. It's almost like I'm in another planet. Wondering a bit what I'm doing out here, to be honest. And uh, but I'm here. It is beautiful. And it is a privilege. And uh, what goes up must obviously go down. And this is what makes this race so slow and hard is that these downhills are really steep and technical. And there's no way I can run down them. I know the younger, fitter, stronger, more agile guys can, when you grab it down, these trails are crazy. But when I can run on the flatter sections like this, like it comes to these steeper sections, I'm just. Yeah, I don't have the strength in my legs to bunny wrap it down them. Not this year. Um, not after the Ironman. I think I'm going to do some strength training over the winter. That's what's missing. And it's going to be that strength to be able to land confidently on these deep descents. It's going to be the change next year. Gotta be strong. Gotta be strong. Can't emphasize that enough. Whew. Endurance support is pretty meaningless with that strength. I'll tell you that. It's not like my heart is pounding out of my chest or I can't catch my breath. It's a strength in the legs. That's a uh, yeah, deficit here today. And fatigue, I mean, you know, when you're over 50, almost 53, 
full disclosure. Um, six long to recover in two weeks post Ironman. Uh, felt okay, pretty good actually. Didn't do very much. It's great, but here we are. Here comes a younger guy behind me now. He's going to find a rapid down here. You watch descent. It's going down. It was almost harder than going uphill, to be honest. At least 7.12 km on my watch. Almost there. Almost there. It is very beautiful out here. Just don't know why they have to put some meals on the course. So steep. It's ridiculous. Very steep. Very hard. About five people passed me the last kilometer. Well, how old are the younger? Now, this is simply a marathon, I'd be almost done, but it's not simply a marathon, it's an ultra marathon. Uh, well, that's in care, I think. I think oh, more uphill. I think this is the last mountain we have to climb. Once we cross this mountain, hill, whatever it is, and I think navigate those downhills. And then it's a pretty flat 3-4k to finish. Looking forward to getting here. Getting this done. Fatigue is definitely set in everywhere. Tired. Anyway, here's what it is. Long stretch up ahead is the turn off for the last loop. I don't know, Nick, uh, that's going to be, I think, it's another 6k to go or so. 6, 7k. Fortunately, not really technical or steep as far as I remember. Just a uh, trail there. Get the sign up ahead. Yeah, I'm walking up the hill. I'm pooped. I'm not uh, in for any aerobics. Five hours, 54 minutes on the clock. Happy with that. It's good enough. Good enough. Uh, I didn't remember oh, this last. Oh, almost fell. It's gonna rock. It's probably when you get tired. I don't remember this last section being so steep and gnarly. I remember being kind of flat, but it's not. Anyway, I'm almost there. The only thing now is not to fall because I'm tired. Not to fall, not to get hurt, not to snap an ankle or break a wrist because my legs are tired. This terrain is extremely rocky and even. on the dog trail. Shouldn't be far, too far from the last aid station which is 3k from the finish line and then just uh, take her home. Ooh. What a job. Right. Oh, there. there it is.
get the floor. It's one big mistake I've made when looking at my strap, not at the tree. See, that's really better. Having my eye, my head fixed. Feet. Look at your feet. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 